Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Hope you've had an amazing day, week, month, or even if it's the beginning of the year. I hope you've been having a good one. Today, we're going to talk about Elden Ring. Let's go. Recently, I got into the Soulsborne games again. I really wanted to play them, and I really, really, really enjoy them. Well, at least the ones that I've played before. Some might say that I am a little obsessive. Look, all I have to say is that the Soulborn games, or the whole series in general, in my opinion, is just how I like to play video games. Doing an action, maybe listen to music as I do that action repeatedly, and basically grind. I did this when I was playing through Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 on the PlayStation 3. I physically wrote out ways I can get materials to synthesize items in all the games to get the ultimate weapon. Also a bunch of other stuff like the fastest way to level up. Come on, I can't be the only one that gets into the game that they're playing. I mean, it's only natural, right? Okay, okay, this video isn't about Kingdom Hearts. It's about the Soulsborne games and series and the ones that I've played and have not played. Though there might be a few, those being Dark Souls Remastered and Bloodborne as I've played through it. Though I haven't finished Bloodborne and to be honest with you, I haven't finished Dark Souls Remastered, but I know I love them. Like, I'm enthralled. I just want to play with them with my friends is the issue. Though I have seen gameplay of every game. I, I've witnessed Super Beard Bros play Dark Souls 3. I've seen Game Grumps play Bloodborne. I've seen my friends play Bloodborne. I've... Uh, Dark Souls 2 is like, I've seen, I think like halfway through the game. And I've started playing Sekiro a little bit. So <laughs> I've played... I, I've, I've played the games... You know, I've started Dark Souls 3 and started Dark Souls 2. I wanted to play the whole series or the whole franchise with my friends, really, before Elden Ring came out. We were so close, too. We it, we probably would almost be done with Dark Souls 2, starting Dark Souls 3 by now. If it wasn't for an issue found in the game, specifically, I think they were in Dark Souls Remastered or in Dark Souls 3, that they found where if you were to invade somebody's world and if you had the means to, you could take over said person's computer, meaning they can close programs and take remote access of your PC. So like an invader will come, probably close out the game, but still be able to like open windows and stuff like that, which is very, 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 very bad for your privacy. Because of this, they shut down all the servers of the PC Soulsborn games, which interrupted my playthrough with my friends, sadly. Though I still want to play through all the Soulsborne games with them, and I think it will just have to be put on hold, sadly, until further notice. Sadly. Seeing how this sadly stops my playthrough with my friends at the moment, I know for sure that I will be returning and freaking finishing those freaking games with them. I, I know it. I, I just, like, I just, I just know it. As I'm making this, actually, uh, it's Elden Ring's release month. Meaning that it comes out, I think, in like two weeks, uh, but it's the month of when Elden Ring's coming out and new things keep getting popped up. And honestly, I'm super hyped to play this game. If this is your first video of Elden Ring, please, please allow me to explain what Elden Ring is. Elden Ring is a new game developed by From Software. It's a fantasy action RPG that is set within a world full of mystery and peril. The world that takes place in is called The Lands Between or just lands between, uh, which is ruled by a queen. I think how many, I'm going to butcher the name and I'm sorry that if I butcher the name, it's like Makari, the internal. Uh, basically, the Elden Ring is like the source of the, I guess you could say tree of life there, uh, but it gets shattered. And the offsprings of said queen claim all the shards from that Elden Ring. It's your goal as the Tarnish to get the shards back and become the Elden Lord. Hidaki Miyazaki, the creator of Dark Souls, Demon Souls, and all those Soulsborne games is teaming up with George R.R. R. Martin, the creator of Game of Thrones, which if you know anything about Game of Thrones or pop culture as of like five years ago, that's awesome. It's basically like if you got a token and I don't know, somebody like the Metal Gear guy or actually they made uh, they made that game with Norman Reedus. like. Guillermo del Toro and why uh, the guy who made Metal Gear Solid <laughs> I'm sorry my brain has escaped his name it's it's out there in the eons but they came together and made an awesome game which is like more of a movie than anything and in my opinion that game is cool visually speaking that game was amazing uh, but yeah, so George R. R. Martin and Hiroki Miyazaki came together and made this game, which is what well, people say that people say that Hiroki makes good games, but there isn't a good story, and that you have to find the story within the game, which to me is fine. I 
take pride in finding that there's no problem for me at least to go into a video game not know what's going on and look for the story i mean breath of the wild did the same thing but i guess in dark souls and every other game besides sekiro if i'm not mistaken tells you in an abstract way what the game's about and it's up to your interpretation but now that george rr R. martin's helped writing it i feel like the game is oh, it looks so dope i mean look at the gameplay look look, look what's going on behind me right now it, oh it's it's so cool it is so cool in the past dark souls games you couldn't jump and this one you can jump which gives it a whole level of like territory to climb vast hills to to look over and then also in this game unlike other past games you have a steed you have a horse that can take you to plains and plains of, of other places Oh, it's so freaking cool. The, from what I've seen of the game, and that is little, my hope is that the same, at, at least at launch, is playable. Mind you, I have not been trying to spoil myself much, so I don't, like, besides that little description that I gave you of the story, that's all I know. That's, that's, that's all I want to know until I start to play it. But in my opinion, it's going to be freaking amazing. It's, oh my god. Speaking about that jump button, it, this game, I guess you can compare it to Breath of the Wild a little bit. Uh, hopefully I don't get roasted in the comments. That would suck if I got roasted in the comments. But it could be comparable to Breath of the Wild, at least in my opinion. Both games, you didn't have a jump button until now. Yeah, you can ride horses in Legend of Zelda. So I guess it isn't like one to one. But I mean, that's hey, we all love running but we all love riding a horse better. Like, that is dope. And in Legend of Zelda, you get to ride a horse. You get to get more horses. Hopefully, in this game, you can, like, get new horses or at least, like, more. I I don't know, actually. I think that would be cool. Ah, uh, it depends. I, I, I want to see when the game comes out more than anything. But, uh, yeah, I am excited for this game. It looks so cool. It's a mixture of, like, fantasy. But I know there has to be another twist. In any other Miyazaki games, there's so much more from what it looks like. Like, Dark Souls, everyone th in the beginning felt it being hard. Also knew that it was a hard game. But playing it now, it's one of the most, like, redeeming games to play. It's so cool. If you guys haven't played any of the Soulsborne games, please pick up Elden Ring and then maybe even go back, play Dark Souls 1 and see the difference. Or for Christ's sakes, play play any of them. My friend Ash, as you know, it was uh, in a room is what he goes by. He loves Bloodborne. Out of all the games, he loves Bloodborne. He will tell you to play Bloodborne. And honestly, if you like HP Lovecraft, please play Bloodborne. I like HP Lovecraft. Oh my God. Bloodborne is dope. It's, it's, it's so cool. Every game is so cool. I love like fantasy. I love having a game that makes you like feel the mechanics, play through the Dark Souls franchise, play through all the games. It's so good. Also play Elden Ring. Elden Ring is going to be amazing when it comes out. I'm excited to play this game. These are just my thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a comment down below. Like it dislike it whatever you want just let's have a discussion of elden ring and if you're excited well good tarnish i shall be seeing you in the fields of battle and remember please don't you dare go hollow hey there thanks for watching the video if you liked this video and if you liked me and my antics please follow me in my spaceship in space <laughs> meaning you can follow me in my socials which is found in the description below. I shall be seeing you in another video or in my streams over at Twitch. I do stream. You're more than welcome to hop in sometime. Say hi. Uh, you can find that in the description below and also at Stellar Icarus at twitch.com. Have a nice rest of your day, everyone. Bye-bye. Peace out. Deuces.